I love watching things grow from seed right through to the end. When I taste the first tomato of the season, it's like a door opening, a coming alive sort of feeling. It's hard to describe. You have to taste it to know what I'm talking about. Before you start, prepare your soil with compost and a slow-release fertiliser. I prefer well-composted chicken manure as apart from being rich in soil nutrients, it's also rich in calcium. My secret trick is to use volcanic rock dust to replenish the soil with trace elements and it really does rejuvenate the soil. It helps to plant tomatoes quite deep so that some seven centimetres of the stem is buried in the soil. New roots will emerge from the stem and will strengthen the plant. If planting in rows, always plant in a north-south line so that the plants get morning sun on one side and afternoon sun on the other. Never ever plant too early. Don't plant seedlings while there remains any chance of a frost because frost is instant death to a tomato plant. Whatever you do, don't plant tomatoes in the same spot year after year. Soil rotation, of course, is critical for a healthy and disease-free tomato crop. Always consider a sturdy staking system, such as a tomato cage. Single stakes are usually not sufficient to manage a two metre high plant with four to five stems. And then, after two to three months, you can start to enjoy the fruits of your labour. Make sure to collect some seed from your best fruit and keep that for next year.